Right guys, I am taking the dogs for a walk. It's quite warm today, even though it's September. Because it's been a really, quite a chilly summer here in the UK, and then it started to get quite cold. It was about, you know, 15 degrees. Everyone was like, it's getting towards autumn now. I was getting excited. I wore a jumper the other day, and I love wearing jumpers. Now we're having like another summer. I think they call it an Indian summer, don't they? A very late summer. So today it's 26, which I know for lots of you, you probably live in hotter climates than that. But um, it's, that's boiling hot for us. Um, <laughs> I think it's due to be about 28 or 30 down south. So luckily it's always a little bit cooler up north. Oh, I've just done some work. I've been very stressed, guys. I've just um, been filming lots of things in slow-mo again. It, and I'm having to film things like two, three times. Ava's doing a poo, bear with. The rest of the day after this, I mean, I'm having trouble uploading to the internet. I've got a sponsored video I'm trying to upload. Uh, the brand needs to see it before it goes live to approve it. And it's due at 4 p.m. and it's half three. And obviously I'm not gonna be back from this walk until after four, but my internet just won't upload it. Uh, yeah, it's not the internet, I think it's YouTube because it's not uploading to YouTube, but my internet's fine, so I don't know what's going on. It's one of those days where technology just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, when I get home, I want to focus on doing some admin. Where's Fen? Fen! I've got a whistle. Closure is. I need to do some admin because I'm feeling a little bit stressed. And I've realised it's because I basically have so many things to do, like people to reply to, emails to reply to, invoices to chase, to be paid, also to pay some invoices and things like that. And I just, I'm really good at doing the day-to-day -day stuff of like filming, editing, uploading, scripting, writing, doing all these things. But I'm not good at replying to emails and doing all of that stuff. I don't know where this dog has gone. <sighs> Ava's over there. He's so annoying. He's very badly trained. There he is. Which luckily I can't take any of the blame for that. I'm trying to whistle train him at the moment to undo the bad habits that he's been taught or not taught since before I arrived on the scene. I'm going to turn you into a good boy. You don't really deserve a treat for that, but it's a start, isn't it? Ava's just patiently waiting. Yeah, I just have lots of admin stuff to do and I think actually if I can just sit down and get all of that boring admin done, then I'll feel so much better. So I'm going to do that when I get home. But I'm not looking forward to it because that is my least favorite job. If I employed anyone to help me with anything, it would never be editing or filming. Like, I like filming by myself. I love editing. I actually don't enjoy filming that much. I think it's a bit of a chore to be honest. I love editing. It's not say I don't I have motivation to edit all the time but mostly I just love sitting down with a drink maybe a snack putting my headphones in and editing I love that side of the job so I would never give anyone the editing job but I would have an assistant to reply to emails obviously I'm lucky that my manager replies to all my sort of business emails but the other sorts of emails just boring admin stuff I just I deal with myself so I'd get someone else to deal with that come on Good boy. Ava, come. Ava, come. Good girl. There you go. There's a treat and there's a treat for you. Let's go. I meet lots of cows on my walk. There's a few in the field over here. Fen usually likes to chase them and I have to call him back but what's been quite good over the last couple of weeks with the whistle training although to you guys he doesn't seem very well behaved he has been doing a lot better and every time he's gone to chase the cows I've blown the whistle and given him a treat so now he's less interested in the cows which is great come on Aves. Ava has no interest in the cows whatsoever so I know that particularly some Americans get confused when they see me walking on farmlands like this. This is someone's house and their farm. Beyond you can see a little town, little village up there. Uh, but this is a public footpath. So there are lots of public bridleways or footpaths throughout the UK, which are what they say on the tin. It's a public footpath. Anyone can use it and it goes across private land. So technically, can't go on the field, but I'm allowed to stick on the track. And yeah, it goes right past people's houses. Before when I've been on country walks and I followed a map, it's taken me through people's gardens, like literally their private garden, walked past their children's slides and, and um, like, you know, playground equipment. And it's felt very wrong, but it's, it's perfectly legal. And the owners are aware of it because they knew when they bought the property that it was, you know, had a public footpath through it. That's why I think personally, 
I would never live somewhere that had a public footpath through it because I like privacy and look, I'm walking right up next to their house, which I don't think I would enjoy. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get shot by a farmer. And every so often next to the wall, in the wall, there's a little bit where you can sort of just go and you can cross that field. Sometimes the uh, farmer is in his garden there and he's feeding his chickens. He's actually a very old man. He's probably, he's, he walks with a walking stick. He must be probably early 80s and he still like walks around his garden, feeds the chickens and stuff. And I'm like, farmers are so independent. As someone who grew up sort of working on a farm since I was 17 years old, I met quite a few farmers and they, they don't care about what age they are and they don't care what, you know, what their body is telling them, aches and pains and stuff. If they've been farming since they were pretty much born, like they're going to farm until the day they die and that's the way they want it. So, whereas if that was my grandparent, I'd be like, go inside, make a cup of tea, sit down, eat a bit of cake. That's just farmer life, I suppose. Now, here's another farm just down here. This is my favorite one. I'll show you when we're closer up. Now I probably would consider buying this one. It would need a lot of renovation, but it's set a bit further back from the track, which obviously people have public right of way. Although it's not very busy, as you can tell, it never is. Just lots of dog walkers, a few runners, and a few cyclists. Now you can see the barns through there, and then this is the farmhouse, which in winter, you can see it a lot better, because obviously these bushes aren't all grown up, but it needs a lot of work. You can see some of the brickwork is crumbling. You know what guys, come back in winter when I can show you properly. But look, it's all tucked away. There's some paddocks. Um, it just needs a little bit of TLC. I'd love it. So that's the end of the farmhouse there. And you see they've got barns and stuff. Could turn that into a studio for me and Keegan. It'd just be gorgeous, wouldn't it dogs? You'd love it. But the downside is this would be our driveway. <laughs> So you'd have to drive out of the house, and there's a gate. Drive down here, gate, open that, drive all the way down, loop around there, all the way up. It would basically take forever. And then one of the final farmhouses, it's just along here. They've got lovely flowers out the front. Yeah, come on in. Now this is also a very nice farmhouse. This was built, I believe the early 1800s. I'll find out and I'll put it on screen. But you can tell how old it is because you know, it's a bit higgledy-piggledy, the windows are tiny. Oh, it's so nice. I think it's actually been divided into flats now, which is quite sad, but it's got nice views. Anyway, there's a little tour of my local area that none of you asked for, but there it is. <laughs> this is the walk I do every single day, but I am so sweaty right now. Oh, there's a car coming. I'm very, very sweaty. It's not even that warm. It's like 26 degrees, but that's just how much I sweat. That is just why I hate summer. <laughs> not because of the sun, just, oh, Siri, because of the heat, because I just sweat so much. It's only 26 degrees. These dogs hate. Fen and Ava, they're always barking at them. Come on. Oh, I've come to work outside. I've got a iced squash, a nice lolly, and my laptop next to my apple tree, which I hope my apple tree's doing well. The leaves are going a bit brown, but then I think that must be because it's autumn. But I'm like, hopefully it's not because it doesn't like it in its pot. I mean, I know it would prefer if it was in the ground, but it's better to keep it in a pot for the next year or so then move house and then put it in the ground rather than put it in the ground and then dig it up because digging it up i don't want to damage the roots so he's gonna have to stay there but i hope and you can grow trees in plant pots hopefully it's just because it's autumn right guys i'm actually heading home i was only in there 15 minutes i can't find two of my memory cards which i thought were in my bag and i cannot sit there and rest and do the work well firstly i can't edit the video I wanted to edit because it's on those memory cards and now I'm panicked because I thought they were in my bag and they're not so I'm gonna rush back home now to try and find them I'm just concerned <sighs> you might remember ages ago I said oh this memory card's really important I'm terrified of losing it because it's got loads of footage on it it's got less footage on it now but very important footage like my trip to Corfu with ITV and it, the video's due this week that I need to submit to ITV. And of course it's this week where I've lost it, but I might not have lost it, it's, it could be at home. I'm just concerned because I took my laptop with my memory cards on the train to London. I went to London twice last week, one for work and one for a wedding. So it was like, it's been on the train twice and I'm, I'm worried that maybe it's fallen out or something. Which is my own fault guys, I should back up 
footage, important footage, onto the cloud, but I didn't. Um, but it's okay, we're not gonna panic yet because that might be a waste of time. So let's get home. Right guys, it's a couple of hours later and I can confirm I have lost two memory cards. <sighs> Do you know what's really annoying guys? I've been going on about this, not losing this memory card for so long. You'll remember I had so many videos on there. Plus the footage from my trip to Corfu where ITV invited me, it's all gone. Well, the memory card's gone. So I don't know what to do, but um, well guys, it's a couple of hours later. I've had a shower, picked up Ava from the groomers. I've lost the memory cards. Can't find them anywhere. I have called the hotel I stayed in last Wednesday, the hotel I stayed in at the weekend. I have uh, contacted the train company, the National Theatre, where I did some work on my laptop. Basically, I've contacted Everett, the studio we filmed the podcast in. Nowhere can find them. The fact I lost both of them makes me think that I haven't lost them. Like, what are the chances? They're both kept separately. And what are the chances that they've both gone? Like, I must have put them together somewhere, but I have checked absolutely everywhere. And the annoying thing is, guys, one of them is the memory card where I've been telling you for ages that I can't lose that memory card. And people have told me to back it up, some of you guys. My family, Keegan, said just back it up. And I didn't do it. So I do not have. And so I'm very annoyed at myself, guys, because this is all my fault. Guys. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh my gosh, I know for you guys, this has been seconds. This for me has been hours. My whole morning has been absolutely ruined by this. <sighs> oh my gosh. I could cry, but my heart is pounding so much. I don't think that I, you know, when you feel like you're gonna cry, but you're also not gonna cry. I'll show you where they were. I've been looking everywhere, guys. I've pulled up all the cushions, everything. I just thought I'd have one last sweep around. The cleaner had tidied them. Yeah. Sandra had tidied them up and put them underneath the TV. You've been looking at them all morning without even realizing. How amazing. I'll show you where they were. Honestly, I've just said to them, I was like, I know for you guys, I've just told, this has been seconds worth of drama, but I've been, oh, he's been stressing. I've been stressing, oh my gosh. They were here. For some reason, she put them there. Well, she obviously put them with the games, oh, but. She they were games. Yeah. You know what, guys, this is the lesson to me that I needed. Back up your freaking footage. Thank goodness, I'm not careless with these guys. That's, that's also why I didn't back it up. And I know we can all make mistakes, but I was like, I am not careless with these. Like, I know where they are at all times. And I would have done if the cleaner hadn't tied them up and put them away. But Sandra, if you're watching, I don't blame you, darling. I blame myself. Oh my gosh, I can relax and enjoy my day. And Edinburgh's on here, members, videos, everything. Oh, I gotta shut up now. Oh, I need a bar of chocolate or something. Right guys, here we go. I'm actually excited because I do need another plant. I know you're thinking, no you don't, Joel, but yes I do. <laughs> so I'm gonna go have a look at the plants. I don't really know if this is it, guys, but... Hmm, this is out of my comfort zone. Here we go, they've only got a small little plant section, but let's have a look. I've got what I think Keegan needs, but who knows, he's on call, so I can't, I can't check with him. Oh, I like these ones, aren't these snake plants? Oh yeah, there they are. Right, here's the gorgeous girly. Don't you look stunning? Yeah, you've had a really nice haircut. Yeah, apparently she's a bit of a crybaby though. She didn't like her legs being done, but she does not like people touching her feet. Good girl, so pretty, aren't you? Well guys, um, nothing can really get me down today because I found my memory cards. <laughs> but um, yeah, that call was a fail. But honestly, last week guys, ev everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. And I'm like, has someone put a curse on me? You know, it's one of those things where just everything, big issues and small issues <sighs> have gone wrong. Um, but it's okay. It's going to be all right, isn't it? Um, and this call with Google I just had, just we've got to reschedule for Wednesday now. I was on the call with them. Something's not been sorted, so... Got to jump on a call with them again on Wednesday before Friday. So um, yeah, it's all just a little bit stressful and it's quite warm, even though it's not as warm as this weekend. I'm still a bit sweaty. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do, record a reel and a TikTok, take the dogs for a walk, edit tomorrow's YouTube video.
Good morning everyone, it is the next day and I'm feeling a lot better today guys. I've woken up, I didn't actually have a very good sleep. I had a terrible sleep so I shouldn't be feeling good. But yeah, I'm gonna get lots of work done. Today, the work never stops in this house. Me and Keegan this morning were just like, there's always something because, um, and it's a, it's a happy thing. Today the carpets are being fitted. The whole house is being re-carpeted. Um, they're gonna be doing it over two days because obviously the only times I've ever experienced places being re-carpeted is like before you move in or something like that, but, or doing like one or two bedrooms, not the whole house. So we were like, how on earth are we supposed to do it? So what we're doing is we've emptied some of the bedrooms. So we've emptied our bedroom, all except the bed. They're gonna deal with the bed. And we've emptied Keegan's office except his desk. So they can do it around that. But that means everything has basically come into the spare bedroom or my office, which will be done tomorrow. So it means then that they can do those rooms then tonight all of this will go in there and then that can be done the hallway can be done our house is uh over three floors so um they're also we've done the same up here this is where taylor and fletcher's bedrooms are so we've emptied out taylor's bedroom of everything so they can do this room and everything has been piled into <laughs> fletcher's bedroom which will be done tomorrow so logistically, it's quite a nightmare. Um, dogs, come on. However, it's gonna be lovely. Once it's all done, at the end of Wednesday, we're gonna have a fully recarpeted house, which will be really, really nice. Keegan has a breakfast meeting this morning with everyone at his company, including his sister, Amber, who came and stayed last night, which was lovely. But because they've got a work meeting, someone has to be in for the, for the carpet fitters. So that person is me, which is fine. I've set myself up over here with my laptop and a coffee. I've got a lot of work to do so that will keep me sorted for a few hours keegan will is going straight to the gym afterwards then coming back releasing me so then i can go to the gym um and have a few hours so i'm doing the morning shift he's doing the afternoon shift but yeah i'm just waiting for the carpet fitters to arrive down here we have carpet carpet liner underlay under flooring whatever all the old carpets as well in the kitchen so they all need to be taken away they have finished in the bedroom. My job now is to hoover up all these bits and then be moving furniture, because uh, that's what we've been doing. They finished Taylor's room, Keegan's office, so been moving bits back in. <laughs> and uh, this still needs to be done, so I'm gonna hoover our room, then we're gonna move all of this into our bedroom, and they can start on there. It's good though, it's a very nice carpet. <laughs> 